my channel. This is Swift Wellness. I am Ashley and today we have a 30 minute runner focus strength class. This workout is a body weight only workout and we'll be targeting all of the muscles that runners commonly use including lower body, core, and even upper body. We're preventing injury, getting stronger, and of course getting faster. But if you prefer to add a little bit of a challenge today, go ahead and grab a light set of dumbbells or a mini band as we'll be showing added challenges to make this workout more difficult. And of course, if you don't have 30 minutes, feel free to check out our channel for shorter options. And as always, like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with some big shoulder rolls forward, feet out wide. You're just warming up through your spine. Good. Just roll in those shoulders forward. Good. We're gonna rotate and go backwards in two, one. Good, switch that same position. You're just opening up your chest, rolling those shoulders back. Good, roll them back. Good, got three, good, two, last one, step it out wide into that position. We're gonna go into some side lunges. So you're just going from the left to the right, pulling that chest up, keeping that torso nice and tall, sending that knee directly over that ankle. Good, just rotating from the left to the right. Good, we're gonna hold it on the left in three, good, two, and one. On that next one, hold it. We're just pulsing onto that left side for three, two, one, and rotate. Right, left, good. Same position, warming up those quads, warming up those glutes, sending the hips back. Good, we're gonna hold on the right side in three, two, Hold on that right side, same thing, pulsing, sending those hips back, knee over ankle. Three, two, one, good. Step it up together, send those hips back. We're just gonna shift from right to left. So a little right, left. Good, you're staying low, little side step. It is the warm up, but if you wanna get a little spicy, you can always add that minivan. Good, three, Two, one, we're gonna walk to the edge of your mat. We're gonna go into an inchworm and then we're gonna send it back into a downward facing dog. So walking out into that inchworm, hold that plank. We're gonna hold for three, two, one. You're sending those hips straight back into that plank. Walk it back all the way up from that inchworm and then back through the same thing. Send it up. Plank, and walk it all the way up. Good, walk it out. Hips, good, walk it back. You're almost done, we've got one more. You're gonna hold it down on the plank on this next one. Send those hips back into that plank. We're gonna bend those knees, finishing warming up the core. You're just moving those knees, holding the core nice and tight, finishing out the warm up. Good. You've got it. Just alternating left and right, scooping that tailbone, warming up the plank, warming up those thighs, glutes, whole body. Good. You've got it. Less than 10 seconds left. Good. Three, two, and sink it back into child's pose. All right, we're gonna start off in a reverse lunge going right into a deadlift. If you have those weights nearby and you want to use them, you absolutely can. I'll show you how it looks. We're gonna take that right foot, we're gonna step it back, knee stacks over that ankle. We're gonna press up from that reverse lunge, hinge it forward into that deadlift, sink it back into that lunge, control it down, and up. So we're only on that left leg to start, and then we're, I will tell you when to switch. 
Good, come down and up. So that hip is going to want to open up. So you want to keep that hip pressed down in that deadlift. So if I have those dumbbells, I'm coming down on either side, chest tall, shoulder stack over hip, over knee. And then as I press up, hinging forward, coming all the way back. So it can be slow, it can be controlled, as long as you're keeping that knee over that ankle. And then as you press up, watch that you're not pushing through that foot. You wanna press through that front leg, stand all the way up, and hinge back down. Good, you've got 10 seconds, then we're switching legs. Good, sink down. One more on this side. Find your balance, good, and come down. Go ahead, switch legs, same thing on the right side. Stacking that hip with that knee directly over. Curl that toe into that reverse lunge. Press through with your front foot. Find that balance, come all the way down. Press all the way back up. Imagine that your foot and your big toe and your pinky toe, they're pressing into the mat. That gives you your balance when you're transferring from the lunge to that deadlift. So as I stand, pressing through that foot, that shape's okay, I'm shaking too. And then control that lunge on the way back. Of course, if you always need that modification, you can always press up, tap that toe, hinge forward, tap and come back down good that's always your option whatever feels good whatever gives you the balance that you need we're not here for very much longer you're here for another 15 seconds on this side good so coming all the way down good you've got 10 seconds control it through that last rep last one come all the way down into that lunge good Bring both knees down. We're gonna walk it out into a plank. For this next exercise, I want you to hold your core nice and tight. Control is the name of the game in this movement. So in this plank, holding nice and tight, I'm gonna take that left foot, I'm gonna step it in between my hands, taking that right knee, driving it up. And then from here, that right knee comes all the way out. Step it out. Right foot in between hands, press through that front foot, drive that knee up. Very, very slow and controlled movements. You're trying to avoid pressing that opposite foot down. So I push my weight into the hands and the foot, bring that knee up, and walk it all the way back out. Good. You're holding, really using the low abs and the core to drive that knee to the sky. Now, I know you probably think I'm crazy, but if you want to add a little bit of difficulty, there are those of you at home that want this. Take that, those weights in either hand. You're gonna step it all the way up. You're gonna add a curl. Walk it out. Right foot, control, good. You've got this. So whichever way you need, you're just really thinking about pressing through the foot Trying to find that balance, that whole foot from pinky toe to big toe presses into the mat. Your core engages and brings that knee up. So of course, if you need to, you can always come through, tap the toe, balance, and walk it back out. You always have that option, but you're using the strength of your core and those glutes and those legs to drive that knee up. Good, you've got it. I just want you to flow through it nice and slowly. Use the music to guide you. Find that balance at the top. You wanna hold for just a second and then step it back out. Good, you've got it. If you wanna add a little bit of difficulty, you can always take that foot and as you step it back, keep that leg up and then drop it down. Gives you a second of balance at the bottom in that plank. Your choice. Good, you've got it. And we've got two more. One on each side. Good. Walk it all the way up. Take a deep breath. 
If you've made it, we'll take a good five seconds. Catch your breath. I need my breath. I need to catch it today. But we're gonna walk out into a wide sumo squat today. So you've got 10 seconds to catch your breath as we work out into this next position. So feet turn out at 45 degrees. You're gonna sink your hips down nice and low, knees right over those ankles. You can watch me during this, your option to add those weights if you want. Otherwise, this is body weight only. You're coming down into that low squat, hips parallel with the ground. It's a quick pulse, then it's left, pulse. It's right, pulse, good, pulse and right. So each time you come back to the center, you're pulsing lower, but you're trying to keep those hips as low as possible. So when you hear the next song on the playlist, I promise this will make sense. Good, stay low. If you have those weights, you can take them to your chest. That's fine. Good. If you have those weights, we'll talk about how you're gonna use those arms today. Good. You're just staying nice and low through this squat. So if I have to come up a little bit, that's fine, but I wanna try to stay as parallel as possible through this. All right, let's hold our arms out. We're just shifting from right, left, right, left. Good, you've got it. Staying low this whole time, holding those arms out. If you have the weights, they're in your right arm, left arm, holding them out, parallel with the ground. Good, you've got it. Flip those palms to the sky. Good. Again, your goal is to just not drop these weights. Good, hold it in the center and you're just pulsing. Again, toes point out, pressing those knees back, pulsing into that lunge. It's gonna be a tiny, tiny baby movement. Good, holding them out. Good, we're gonna flip our palms up and down. Good, keep that pulse, flipping up and down. Staying low, good. Just stay low, we're gonna shake it out. In an active slide, in three, two, one. Good, it's left, right. You can take those hands down. If you have the weights, you can set them down. Good, you're again staying low. Good, stay nice and low. Pulling that chest up, not letting yourself slouch forward. Pull that chest up. Good. Right there. Nice and steady. You've got 10 seconds. And then you're out of this lunge or this squat. We're going into lunges. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Step it up. Shake those quads out. We're gonna go right into that next set. It looks like this, we're revisiting the lunge, but it's a combo. So you can watch for just a second, catch your breath. It looks like this. I'm gonna start in a reverse lunge. I'm gonna step it forward into a squat and then shift my opposite leg back. So it's a squat, lunge, combo. So good. Down, good. So again, from the front, I'm coming into that lunge, but in my squat, those knees press out, I squat down. I don't let those knees fall in, and I don't let that knee come over that ankle. So if you have to go a little bit slower here, squat, and then come back, it's always an option. Good, squat, down. Good, you've got it. Finding that rhythm, of course, if you want that challenge, you can always add in. This is a great place for a bicep curl. So if you want to add in a bicep curl at the bottom, step up into that squat, come back, bicep curl. Squat, right leg comes back, curl. That is your option here. Each time, down, squat, down, Good. On this next one, I want you to hold into that squat. And we're just going to go into, again, I'm going to turn so you can see, but you're just pulsing in that squat. Deep breath. You're not going anywhere here. 
Good, so again, I'm at the front of my mat, hinging those hips back, squatting. Good. We're gonna go right back into that alternating lunge. Good. Squat. Good, squat. You've got 15 seconds, and then we are off this exercise. 10. Good. Five. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Going back into that wide stance, we're gonna go into some slide lunges. This is the last standing exercise today. So shifting that weight, sending those hips back, just like in the warm up, knee over ankle, switch. So you're feeling that inner thigh work. Those quads should already be burning. You should be dripping with sweat like me. Good, you've got it. Alternating right and left, good. Make sure you're breathing, keeping that chest up. Good, you've got it. You are not here long today. Good, deep breath. We're gonna hold it to the left, pulsing, staying nice and low. Good, you've got it. Three, two, one. Switch sides to the right and to the left. You know what's coming. We're gonna hold onto that right side in a pulse. But you're working it out right now, alternating from right to left. Hold it to the right. Good, little pulses. Good, just know that you get to be on the mat for the remainder of class. Once you make it through the next 20 seconds, Good, you've got 15. We're alternating to the end in two, one. Alternate all the way. Good. You're dropping to the mat in 10 seconds. So send those hips back. Finish out this series of legs. Three, two, one, and step it back. Take it to the mat. Take that deep breath. We are going to work into our core so if you have a set of weights at home, you can use them. If you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Take that left forearm, come on to the ground. We're going into a series of plank rotations. So popping up onto that side, sending that hip up. You have options here. Of course, you can always take that knee to the ground. Your choice. But you're gonna pop that arm up, rotate all the way through and then press to the sky. So twisting through and up to the sky. Of course, if that's too challenging, drop that bottom knee, stack that hand, make a fist, keep those hips up, hold that leg up as an option, dropping it to the ground is added stability. Reach to the sky, twist and up. We're working on our obliques, we're working on our shoulders, Working on our core here. Good, you've got it. You are not here long today. Good, hold it up. 15 seconds, twisting all the way through. You always have that choice, chance to challenge yourself with that weight, reaching under. Good, you've got five. Good, you've got four, three, two and one, good. Switch sides onto that right forearm, popping that hip up. If you picked that hip up on the last side, you were stacked in that plank, stack it on this side, drop the knee on this side. If you did on the other side, twist and up, twist and up, good. Your goal here is to twist that shoulder to the mat and back up to the sky. So don't just bring that arm through. Keep that hip up, twist, and up. That's where it challenges your oblique, challenges your stability. We don't do anything when we do this. Good, twist, good. You're almost through this second set. You've got 15 seconds, pressing that hip up. 
Good, you've got it, 10. Finding that rhythm, good. Less than 10 seconds, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, and drop those hips, you've got it. Take one quick second, drop back into child's pose, stretch out those arms, those shoulders. Feel that good stretch through those obliques. Because we're gonna stack up into this position. We're going into a bear crawl with a leg lift. Two options, you can watch me to start. I'm gonna pick those knees up. We've done these bear claws before. So you're gonna pick those knees up two inches above the ground. Extend that left leg long and we're gonna lift. This is a glute exercise first and foremost. It's a core exercise second. If you cannot keep your knee off the ground, then you're gonna bring the knee down and then just lift that leg. So I'm holding my core in nice and tight. I'm lifting through the glute, not arching my back. So it's lift, lift. Of course, this is your challenge. This is a little bit more core. So whatever you need today, but I encourage you to really try to push that weight up, get off of those knees so that you can challenge your stability. You have a playlist today that encourages you to work it. So you're just lifting and lowering. So when you're in this position, watch that you're not shifting your weight backwards. That shoulder steps directly over that wrist. Good, lift, lift, good. We've got five seconds, and then we're going to add it, pulse into the top. So you got two, one, hold it up, you're pulsing. Good, you're just pulsing and keeping that leg as long as possible. Your choice to take that opposite hand to your shoulder. Challenge your balance, hold that core, don't let your back arch. Think about pushing that pelvis forward, not letting that leg drop. Good, you've got it. Holding it up. Good, you've got three, two, and one. Good, bring that knee in. Same position on the other side. Tuck that toe, hover that knee, lift, and lift. Good, it's much harder to talk and do this workout with you guys. So again, don't let your back arch check in with yourself. If it's too challenging to hold it up, that's your modification to drop that knee and lift. This is a glute exercise. If you're not feeling it in your glutes, drop that knee. Just lift. Good, you've got it. Just lifting and lowering. Good. You're here for 15 seconds, so we're gonna hold it up in three, Two, and one. Little pulses, good. Hold that opposite hand up if you want. That's your balance challenge. Good, you've got 10 seconds. Then you're off this exercise. You get to drop those knees in five. Good, three, two, and one. Good, drop it back down. We're switching off those legs, off that booty. We're going into a core round. So, rolling onto your back, arms out, stretch, legs out, stretch. You're gonna come into a single leg sit up and then come back down. Right leg and left leg. So you wanna make sure that you're inhaling on the way down and it's a big exhale as I bring that knee into the chest. Big exhale, big inhale, exhale. Good, you've got it. Working on those abs, especially those lower abs, driving that knee into the chest works those low abs. It's the same muscles that we use when we're running, working those hip flexors, low abs controls that pelvis when we're running. So you wanna stay nice and tall. You wanna pull with that leg the exact same as if I was going up a hill, I'm driving those knees up. So when I come back down in that sit up, I'm driving that knee, Bring it to my chest, pulling it in. Good, you've got it. Big knee in and up. We're gonna hold that left knee up in three, in two. This left knee holds up, we're pulsing that knee 
Again, the movement is coming from my knee to my chest. I'm keeping the C curve of my body. Make it a little bit more challenging. Pick up that bottom leg. You're driving that knee into the chest. Good. Again, breathe through this. Don't hold your breath. You're just pulsing. Good. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Go all the way back down. Right knee holds up. Same thing. Option to pick up that bottom leg. Good. Stay in that C curve. Knee drives into chest. Good. You've got it. If you're not here that long, we're going to switch off of this exercise. Good. 10 seconds. Good. Hold it with me. You should feel those abs burning. Good. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rolling over onto your stomach. You have made it to the very two last exercises of class. We're going to add in a little bit of cardio here. You're going to go into some mountain climbers. So stacking into that high plank, you have options here. If you want to add in that cardio challenge, you're going to go in quickly with those left and right knees. I will show you the modifications as we go. Find a rhythm that you can work at, but we're going to try to get that heart rate up and go if you're not already. If you need to, you need a scale down modification, that's fine. You're going to walk into that bear curl. You're going to walk back out. In, in, out, out. Of course, you always have the option to speed it up as well. This is your last five minutes of class. That's it. You've got it. So you're walking in, in, out, out, or you're driving those knees quickly. Your choice here in those mountain climbers, whatever feels good for you. We're going to alternate now. We're going to take that right knee to that left hand. So it's right and left, right and left. So if you're in those mountain climbers, you're just going quicker, bringing that right knee to that left elbow and cross. Make sure you're breathing through this whole thing. You're engaging your core. You're almost there. We've got 15 seconds. Good. Moving quickly. Good. You've got it. 10 seconds. How much faster can you work through to the end? Cross your body as you're alternating. Three, two, and one. Drop down. You have made it to the last exercise of class today. Swing it onto your back. We're finishing off with single leg glute bridges today. Whew. I love a good cardio burst. So let's take that leg to the sky, pressing that hip into the ground, hands in the ground for support. Send those hips all the way up and down. It's up and down, up and down. Of course, if you need the added support, take that toe, press it into the ground, send those hips up and down. It's up and down. We've got one last song. Good. So wherever you're at, press that leg up and down. If you want an added challenge here, this is your last chance to get in some weights. So let's, as we lift that leg, I want you to bring those arms down. And as I bring those hips down, I'm bringing those arms to the sky to add in a chest press. All the way up and down, good. Again, as I drive that hip to the sky, it's a big exhale, big inhale as I bring it back down up, down, good, you've got it, all the way through, feeling that right glute burn itself out, so you're just pressing all the way up to the sky, and down, you can always take that toe, but I don't want you to stop here, I want you to keep pressing all the way, good, you are so close to the end of class, good, you're gonna hold it up on that right side in three, two, and one. Just little pulses. Again, try to keep that leg into the sky. You're not letting it down. That fire in that right glute should be on fire. You're here for 15 seconds. That's it, and I'm letting you set those legs down. 10, 
You got it. You can make it through 10 seconds. You've made it through almost 30 minutes of class. You've got five, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it out and down. Your right leg goes straight up. Last working leg of class. Very last thing. Good. You're pressing up and down. You can always take that toe to the mat if you need it, but you're not stopping here. Good. You've got it. Press it all the way up. I can feel the sweat going down into my ear pods right now. Good, you've got it. Bring it down. Good, you've got it. Hold it up in three, two, and one. Hold it up. Little presses, little pulses. Good, you've got it. You're here for 15 seconds. You've got 10. Again, you've got 10 seconds left. That glute, I know he's shaking. Good, it's five, four, three. You're setting both legs down for glute bridges in two, one. Hips down, hips up. Finishing out class. Finishing out this song. At the very, very finish line of class. You've got it all the way down and up. We're burning out those glutes. Our quads are done. Our body is ready for a break, but you've got it. Press up. Good, big exhale, big inhale. Three, two, and one. Good, bring your knees into your chest. Go ahead. We're gonna send those hips back into a down dog. Stretch out those legs. So press those hands into the mat. Send those hips back. You're bending those knees. Just find that relaxation. Bend those knees as you need it. Big inhales, big exhales as you catch your breath. Good. Walk it back out into a plank. Slow chaturanga on the way down. Go ahead and lay down. Press those hands into the mat as you look back over that right shoulder. Big inhale, big exhale. One more, and then we switch sides. Big inhale over that left side. Big exhale. Then bringing those knees all the way underneath the hips. We're gonna take that left arm, thread it through, sink down into the hips. Feel that big stretch through that left arm. And then press the hand all the way up. Send that right arm through, sink back. Stretch out that right side. And then bringing your hands all the way up, sink your knees and your hips back into child's pose for the last one of class. Great work today, guys. I hope that that runner focused strength workout was as much fun for you as it was for me. And I hope that you continue to incorporate these exercises into your weekly running routine. Of course, we want to get stronger and we want to prevent injury. And let me know in the comments below, what did you like? What didn't you like? How can I make the best possible workout for you? And of course, feel free to share our channel with your friends and like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Have a great day.